Toppy Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Connor Williams and we're back with another one of our 24-7 news report videos. Uh, as always, we start with the headline news and the headline news this evening is that Manchester United have targeted Everton's Azmir Begovic in their search for a number two for Eric Ten Hag's squad this season. That's come via Mike McGrath, um, who is a writer for the Daily Telegraph. Um interesting. Uh, I thought United had a really good second keeper in Dean Henderson. Um, for all the stick we give, you know, some of us fans give Everton, um, United seems to be as poor, if not poorer, at pre-planning. You have a very, very, very good backup goalkeeper in Dean Henderson um, and sent him out on loan or whatever. Um, and now they want Asmir Begovic. I personally... And bitter and spiteful, um, would stall for as long as we can and then say no to them like they did with Romero with us, just to be bitter and yeah, just to be a bit spiteful back to them. Um, I also wouldn't let him go because we need a backup keep, and I don't think Lonergan is um capable of being a very good backup keeper. Um, not that I'm bigger, um, I don't think I'm Begovic's biggest fan by any means, but I think he's better than Lonergan. And we're already potentially losing maybe Gordon, we're losing Ali. I don't really think we need to add goalkeeper to a list that already now has another winger, a striker, potentially another centre mid, a creative midfielder. Um, so, yeah, maybe just say no to this one. And I can't imagine they're offering us a lot of money, probably like two mil. Uh, next, we have that Chelsea have offered Lee Kimmel and Michi Batshuayi in a players plus cash deal for Everton's Anthony Gordon. That's come from football uh, Footy Insider 24-7. Um, very, very interesting that they keep offering people to us. Um, uh, Batshuayi's name doesn't seem to be going away. Uh, I know a couple of people are like, you know, a, a sort of this rumour comes around every year. It normally does. It normally does. But, um, yeah, I, I, I just got this feeling that it's been linked more than most summers. Uh, I don't know if it's because Frank Lampard, obviously, and he plays for Chelsea, and, you know, that's something. Um, but, yeah, just keep an eye on the Batshuayi, um The one, Billy Gilmore, I think it would be a creative midfielder that Frank Lampard liked. Uh, to see why that's been linked. Um, speaking of Batshuayi, Wolves have submitted an offer for the forward. Um, the Belgian striker is expected to move this summer um, to get first team minutes. Uh, it's understood Wolves have made an approach for him, according to 19 men, as they look to bolster their attacking options. Be interesting to see whether he goes. I mean, Chelsea will definitely accept that. I don't know if we're that. I know the rumours, like I've just said, don't seem to be no way. I don't know if we're that sold that it's going to trigger us into putting an offer in. Um, I think I don't even know if Chelsea will fully accept. Maybe they're looking at us and thinking we'll get more out of Everton or we'll get Gordon out of Everton. Um, it's yet to be seen, but yeah, just um, interesting one. I I could see them wanting that. I don't think it's going to press us. Uh, if they were thinking, oh, this will force Everton, I don't think it will. I think we want Brozier. Um, and Blackshaw would be last, last, last reserve from Chelsea. Um, so yeah, very, very interested on that. Uh, we also have the news that Armando Broja um, is open to a move to Everton. Um, the I have, now the I have reported that he's open to a move to Merseyside. The report states there's been constant dialogue with the um, with the Blues, which is separate to their Gordon offer. Encouragingly, the player wants to go. Um, very, very interesting uh, for Broja. He obviously wants first-team football. Chelsea probably can't, even though they've got their striker option, can't definitely guarantee him that. So he's looking to move away. Um, interestingly enough, on Brogia, we have some news now on Brogia and the fellow Chelsea teammate and Conor Gallagher. Nizar Kinsella, a Chelsea FC um, and England reporter for the Standard Sport, has said Everton want to sign Conor Gallagher on loan. Uh, however, they both it's expected both Gallagher and Brogia will stay at Chelsea this season. So, that will break a couple of blue hearts. I know a lot of, um, a lot of our fans want Gallagher doesn't look like that's going to be happening. Um, it's a shame. He's a good midfielder. I'd have quite liked the Brogia, I, I don't see them letting him go just because they need the options up front as well. I think they're about as uh, thin on the ground as we are. So, yeah, interesting. Um, that if he's not going, then maybe Batshuayi is going to come um, unless we get Garassi or one of the other rumoured 
players. Um, but yeah, just keep uh, an eye on uh, back to why you guys. But it looks like Brozier might not be coming. And the bigger loss, I think, for a lot of us fans is Conor Gallagher won't be coming. Um, speaking of striker rumours, though, Bereton Diaz was linked with us and Blackburn manager John Dahl Tomasson uh, has spoke about him uh, to length live, spoke about Diaz potentially leaving. He put, there's always speculation surrounding him. I'm always talking about him. He's a good boy and he's a quality player. As I've said many times, if there is a bid and the amount of bid, he would cost 30 million in my eyes. Later clarifies that is a joke. The boy, let him focus on football. He's trying his hardest to do his best and he's been brilliant so far. It was not an excellent game for him, but plenty of other players didn't perform. It was not to do with the bid. Let him focus on football. So, yeah, he's basically saying that to them, he's absolutely wonderful, which I already knew that. I think we all knew that anyway. Um, so, yeah, it looks like potentially um, he's going to be one that we're going to have to sort of drive off them. I think my mate, who's a Blackburn fan, said 50. 20 mil and he wouldn't be surprised if they let him go. Nice, when you knock it back into pounds, it was about 8 million pounds, which um, even I must admit is heavily, heavily undervalued um, for him. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. He has been linked a little bit more in the last couple of days. Um, I quite like him. I don't think he's an out-and-out -out forward, a striker. I think he's you know a left forward like Gordon sort of playing now. Um, can play centre forward, but he's not your out and out traditional number nine, um, like a Garassi or a Dominic Calvert-Lewin, etc. But I'd be very open to Diaz. I do like him. Um, very good player. Uh, we also have another um young English player that Everton were interested in, but it died out about two weeks ago, which is Morgan Gibbs White. Nottingham Forest have now signed him. He's joining Nottingham Forest supposedly for thirty three, uh, thirty five million pounds. Um, in a deal that could rise to forty-four point five million, the player is now due to have his medical at Forest today with multiple outlets. Uh, after the two clubs came to an agreement for the twenty-two-year-old, uh, he was linked with Everton, but still couldn't happen. When you see that that's the price, you can sort of see why it didn't happen. That's a lot of money for Morgan Gibbs. Why I wasn't that convinced on him. Um, so that's an interesting one. But it looks like Morgan Gibbs White no go for Everton. Forest are signing everybody. Half the players that we're linked with, Forest are after. They're like the West Ham for us. Uh, I've been in a couple of years. It seems like that's now them. I, I don't know, guys. I I don't think this one's as big of a loss. For instance, Chelsea saying that Gallagher's not happening. I feel like that one's a bigger loss because uh, he's a good player. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'll come back to eat my words. Maybe I'm going to be watching Forest absolutely smash the Premier League. With him, but yeah, I'm 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 not convinced that I'm absolutely gutted that he's gone. Um, spend a lot of money though, Forest, a lot of money. Um, yeah, interesting. Uh, Fulham have held initial talks to sign Everton target Neil Moipai on loan, according to Sky Sports News. Saw this before. Don't know if this can happen. They've obviously held initial talks, but I'm pretty sure Premier League rules say you're only allowed to loan one player from per like from the one of the same club. And they already have a Brighton player on loan. So I think Fulham might not know the rules um, and are going to find them out, um, which isn't beyond the realms of possibility if it's the Fulham man uh, owner buying on Tony Khan uh, or if it's Tony Khan's dad, one of the two. I think Tony Khan might be their director of football, but um, what he, I don't think he knows an awful lot about football, bless him. So that potentially is an absolute no, but... Neil Moipai has got a lot of attention, so keep an eye on that. Um, it looks, at this rate, guys, it looks like Atchway or Jay Adams, doesn't it? Um, I, I don't know which one I prefer over those two. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got time for. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Comment down below your thoughts on Atchway, Brozier, um, Forest. Do you think, where do you think they'll finish now? I don't think it's a matter of if they go down or not. I think it's now a matter of being the best of the newly promoted, where do you think they'll finish? Let me know all that good stuff and I'll see you guys very soon.